and welcome back everybody here to a new episode of Survive the Crafts. And on today's episode, we'll be farming these ones. We'll be farming flowers. And in order to do so, I'm actually going to talk a little bit more about this in the creative world. So, before we even do anything, we need to understand how do you even get flowers. So, pretty much on a flower biome, you can see that there are a lot of flowers that spawn and they look to be random, but they are actually not random. Uh, in a flower biome, each flower has a designated spot. So, as you can see here, each one of these flowers can generate on these exact coordinates, uh, except the Y level. The Y, the y level doesn't, doesn't matter, so at this level, there will be these these flowers if I go lower they will be the same flowers if I go up they will be the exact same flowers so this like this one will always generate on X 1 6 2 1 Y doesn't matter it could be any Y level uh, and on Z 2 6 2 8 and this is important because in order for you to make a flower farm you need to understand which flowers do you want to farm or can you even farm a lot of them so this is a this is a test that i've been using just placing down bone meal and then breaking the grass and this was what generated so you can see that we have some red tulips some azure blue and some alliums and pretty much if i expand this i'll get more uh but this is how it comes to be you know you have this array right here this is a simple five by five so i could test it out so what you want to be doing is first you need to think of ways to collect these so the way i'm gonna probably do is like make a huge row like a huge row of this with a lot of dispensers underneath and the dispensers will be powering like the entirety of this field and it will most likely not be like this it will not be a flat i'll probably have some height variations because i'm thinking of using water okay imagine i have like a strip a huge strip like this if i just start placing bone meal you see a lot of the things that spawn here is grass so we pretty much have to remove every single one of these then place another one and you can see that a lot of more flowers will start popping up Let me try not to remove any flowers yeah it's actually sometimes it's hard to get flowers to spawn but yeah so this will not be a line that i'm interested in because i get these ones and i only have three types of flowers here so I need to make a line that covers the biggest amount of flower types possible. So you have a lot of ways to do this. You can just look around and try and see if you can actually find like a cluster of different colors that you might be interesting, like maybe right here. Uh, let me see. I mean, ignore the two tall flowers. The two tall flowers do not count towards that. So do not, I mean, you can't spawn them. So, if you see two tall flowers, ignore them because there will be another flower spawning in their place. Okay, it's not showing up. But you can actually see, we have quite a different amount of flowers here. We have poppies, we have red tulips, we have orange tulips, we have alliums, we have azure blues, we have some pink tulips. Yeah, this is the white tulip. We also have these ones, the oxydaisies, and there's actually a pretty decent amount of of flower, a different type of flowers in this row, you know, and that's what you want to be getting. And I mean, if I can, I can maybe see a different, any different ones. No, okay, it's just the same. Yeah, but that's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eight different types of flowers just in a small line and that's what you want to try to be finding so you can have a lot more of something uh but one of the best ones to farm oh, what happened here okay uh is actually the blue ones the blue ones is actually pretty cool because you don't need to be using lapis lazuli to get blue 
So that's an interesting one. Oh, rabbits. See, he, this this is one of the best spots that I actually can see. So we have the azure blue, you have the cornflowers, we have white tulips, pink tulips, avium, red tulips, and orange tulips. And if you push it, then you have these ones and maybe some other ones like hidden if you try and see. Uh, so in order to find this, if you don't see a lot of flowers put up together, you need to use the bone meal method. You bone meal, you break the grass. It, it can be tedious to do this, <laughs> but it's honestly like the best way. Uh, you do this, boom, you do this back again. You only remove the grass. Then again, and you can see it's getting more and more blue flowers. So this is how I'm going to be finding the perfect place for me to create my farm. Okay, now with the technical part talked out of the way, uh, I actually found this quite neat place. And you can see red tulips, cornflower, white tulips, oxydaisies, orange tulips. So a pretty decent variety of colors. And that's probably where I'm gonna do my my farm. There's also lily lilies of the valley. So that's that's a nice one to have. If I push it a little bit further, I can get some of these. Yeah, this will most likely be the spot, but way up in the sky. It will not be on the ground. I mean, you can do it on the ground, but to make it simpler for me, I think I'm gonna put it in the sky uh, to get a lot of more control and without needing to ter terraform anything around me. So you know, just dig and stuff like that. So I'm gonna get and I'm gonna get uh, like a decent amount of dirt, some dispensers, some hoppers, some chests, and then I'll come back. So the basic idea for the farm is now completely done, and this is how it's, go how it's going to work. And sorry for the redstone, it's kind of messy because uh, I don't know how to make things look small. I just go with what I know with redstone. So this thing down here is quite a bit of a mess. Yeah, there's a lot of resources here, but it works. And that's what matters to me. So pretty much I have a hopper here that's pretty much going to be back and forth with, it, with these guys when this one is unpowered. So this one sends a signal, so a comparator, then one, two, three, four repeaters on max. Then it comes into these six comparators. Uh, I have them on subtraction, but it doesn't matter. So yeah, this is how, this is easier for you to see the direction of them. You know, they go like this. They pretty much don't matter the direction because they will always have the two outputs. So that's that's all right then I have these two for the little bit of delay which I may not even need actually uh, so you can probably just replace this with this it will most likely still work and then I have one two three four five six seven repeaters um, this is so that the bone meal fires exactly when there's no water here because that was a problem uh, the bone meal was firing while there was still water here so nothing would grow and let me now show you and i probably probably don't need to have these repeaters here just the redstone dust but and now i have this lever so i can stop the farm but now let me show you the farm working Okay, it does some random clicks. Okay, why is it doing this? Oh, because it's detecting the fall off there, okay. Give me a second. Yeah, this will, uh, rep a repeater here will make sure that the signal is always the same strength. So it was detecting the variation of strengths. Okay, so this fires, this takes the water down, and then the dispenser hits. Then this one fires again, washes everything away, 
and then dispense it. So as you can see, it's working fine. And I mean, most of the times it's just gonna get grass. I wanna get a flower. Yeah, there we go, some oxidases. And now I'm just going down here. I do this. And now I'm going to extend the farm as much as I can. As you can see, water travels eight blocks. So I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because the eighth, I will let the water drop down. And then what I'm gonna do is just go on to here, do another line of seven all the way that front, then drop one down, then the same, then drop one down, then the same. And I just need to run the dispenser redstone. Oh, the dispenser redstone across this down the line. And I probably will need to time it so I, it fires when the water has gone by so it's probably a little bit of timing that i need to do there but i'll show you that in a second so i think i have the redstone pretty much all done and but as you can see there's a sometimes the things just stay here so i will also be making a hopper not a hopper line but a minecart line that will go underneath and catch all of this so i can actually get a lot more uh, but now I'm gonna test it out just to see if all of those things fire at the perfect time Flick the lever go up here real quick The first one okay, so the water's coming There we go one two three and Four perfect. This one didn't have any any Well bone meal yeah but perfect so the redstone now is all in its place as you can see this i show already showed you this and i had to add between each one of these hopper or these hoppers oh wait it's okay it's okay it doesn't doesn't do anything so between each one of these dispensers you need one two three four five maxed uh maxed repeaters so each one of them is the five as you can see it goes all around like this then i add some upper mine cards between the layer that actually gets all the stuff and they pick up the things into the these hoppers they go into the dispensers that will always be powered then they toss them into into some a water some water and the water pushes them in a uh, in a water elevator, and they go to the end. Let me see, yeah, perfect. They come here, they go to this water elevator, they go up, then they go back to the uppers. And the collection system, of course, I will fall. The collection system is just whatever you want. I have the seats. The regular seats being separate into a compost into a composter, so I can get bone meal, and all the flowers come here to the end. So now I'm going to go to this side, and I'm going to activate it, and boom. And there's bunnies spawning here as well. So if you want a bunny farm, here's the bunny farm. You can see it goes all the way to the end. Let me actually climb this thing up. T it ticks, it ticks, it ticks, and the water comes back on again. Yeah. So they get picked up by these hoppers. If it's if they're seeds, they go into here. And if they're not, they just go on, as you can see, they go by and they go into the chest. So yeah, this is it for the flower farm. It can be done <laughs> in an easier way, uh, but I had this design in mind, so I went for it. And it actually took me a long while to get all the redstone in place. And it's quite a lot of redstone, you know. It's, uh, you can make an easier one. You just need the, like this part. <laughs> you can just do this, the first thing, and you don't even need clocks and something. Just pull lever or click buttons and this thing will work so yeah I wanted to go a little bit more extreme with this okay now back to these guys 
Uh, and I noticed that these guys don't actually uh, forget the pets up there. So I will always have four guys here. So I probably need to take them a little bit further away from this space. So that's what I'm going to try and do right now. So let's get this thing started. I want to get a villager breeder, my villager breeder to produce some zombie villagers. And this is what I've been testing with. This is a sort of version, an adapted Java version. Uh, so pretty much I have my villager breeder here. It feds all the villagers up to this corner right there. And then I have this that gets powered by the button. The rail gets powered by the button as, soon as this, as the dispenser. So I pop a minecart here, it grabs a villager and then they get pushed all the way up here and they fall there. As you can see by this guy right here. I grab some minecarts and I put one here and boom. And then what it happens is that they fall here and this piston fires once, it sends a signal, but the signal doesn't actually stay long enough for the cart to go away. So what happens is that it stays there and this guy pretty much one shots them, one shots them or even two shots them really quickly. And then they transform into a zombie villager. They activate this again and then this actually stays powered long enough for them to start on a new journey. And why is that a pig there? I don't know. So let me show you real quick. So I put I put the, the minecart here. Uh, not sure if it's going to work with this guy. Okay, now he's dead. Okay, any one of these guys, you don't want green coats. Green coats have to die, pretty much. So, yeah. Grabs one. This guy, two shots them. They pop. This thing stays on long enough. And there they go. So, it's pretty simple. And it's pretty quick. It's pretty quick to turn these guys into, into zombies. And then it just... You take them to anywhere you want them like another thing so you can actually cure them let them stay there for as long as you want and then you push a button and you send them into any of your cells and I'm gonna do this for every single one of my villagers uh, just because I, I that's what I want to do I mean on bedrock you only need one apparently and you can give every single one around you the discount but I like this. I like this better, you know. Um, I use the similar version on Java, and I kind of want to use it here, you know. Uh, it kind of goes against everything that every that every YouTuber is doing. It's like curing one, and every single one is a discount in the huge radius. I want to be curing every single one of them. Yeah, so that's the route I'm going. Oh, and this dispenser right here. I mean, it's supposed to name them. But it's not it's not working, you know, I, th I thought it would work to name them, but apparently it's not. So, yeah, never mind this. So I redesigned redesigned this so that they actually drop lower and then get pushed into here. But yeah, as you can see, something went wrong and it is moving. So it's not going to get. Come on. Uh, oh my god, he's just not gonna get picked up. Yeah, a uh, zombie came down here and hit it, these guys. And now the, he's just not going into the minecart, guys. So I have to kill him. Yeah. Yep, you have to die. I need to get the babies back here again. And uh, they're actually coming in, so that's good. Um. But yeah, a zombie came down here. You can hit them from this corner right here. So they just killed them. The others despawned. So that was the only one left. And because I was AFKing like in that tiny house to see if I could get any zombies to spawn. So I could catch them. But yeah, now I need to try it again. But I guess I'll keep building this thing. And I actually need to make a connection down to the ravine. So there's still quite a few things to do here. Okay, now I got pretty much everything set up for a test. So there's only that guy there in the tunnel, but it doesn't matter. Once he grows up, the water will push him. 
uh, even though you can just push him like they can get here alone or if he just stays there and grows up he will come here now i'm waiting for this guy to grow so i can actually test it with the scientist here uh, hopefully it will work exactly the same i probably need to encase this thing a little bit better you know so that no one escapes from here i'm actually just gonna put now i'm gonna use solid blocks to make sure and then stop stop now i need to oh thorns thorns hit him okay but he will hit this guy for sure so it's okay and then i need to get going to the to the end of this tunnel here hmm kind of yeah, of course you're gonna hit me and now I just gotta wait so I've been having some issues with these guys getting converted but then they do not get put back onto the minecart and I'm pretty much doing this on the exact same direction so there should not be any rail shenanigans going on but here it works fine. Here it works perfectly fine. But on the survival roll, when it gets converted, it doesn't hop back into the minecart when the minecart starts moving. And I don't know why. I mean, there's not many things that could be happening here. The only thing that it comes to mind right now is that the fact that this guy has a sword. But I'm pretty sure that even if this guy didn't have the sword, it would work anyway. I mean, this is just strange to me. Like, he gets converted, but he does this jump, which is probably the thing that is making him hop back into this. And that may be helped by the sword, so I probably need to get a zombie with a sword now. So, yep, it's not the sword. Well, this is this is going to be my final test. I did like seven or eight different versions and every single time the the, the card just doesn't repick the the villager. So, I have no idea why it happens or why it doesn't happen. But yeah, let's hopefully Wait, now we just went on by without getting converted. What? What happened there? Okay, give me a second. I think it's maybe this one. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that guy now. Uh, maybe this. Try and do this like this i'm trying to give him a bigger drop because i have a bigger drop on the creative world but right, let me take this off real quick and have this plus this here and can i put it there so yeah you're gonna get keep you're gonna keep getting pushed bro but the cart yeah you're dead now okay that guy's dead now so i need to wait for any of the babies to grow back and then i can do another test and probably fail miserably again and I don't even have a clue about why well here goes nothing I have this thing set up so it comes from this way if this one doesn't work I'm gonna try and bring them up through this way and see if anything changes I think it won't so yeah let's see what happens Yep, 
like I imagine. I don't have like the slightest idea why this is not working. But for some reason, it's not. I need to curve it here. Like so. And round number two. Like he does a jump, he does a jump, but he doesn't get picked up by the cart. Why? What is happening that I'm not understanding here? I really have no idea why. Uh, but yeah, with this terrible disappointment, this is how this video is going to end because I'm just starting to lose my mind over here and I, re and I really need to take a break from this because it works on the creative world, but it doesn't work here, so something is wrong right now, and I have no idea why. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. If you can figure out what the hell I'm doing wrong here, maybe you can tell me in the comments. Uh, and yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and thank you for all the support. Yeah, and see you in the next one. Goodbye.